So have you ever been in a situation when you wanted to share a WhatsApp web via screen share? So basically either you're doing a Zoom call, you're doing a Google Meet call, or you're recording a screen. Whatever you're doing, you wanted to share the WhatsApp web screen. Now the problem with that is you have a lot of sensitive information which you might not want to reveal. Some of which involves the contacts. You don't want people to be able to see the contacts. At the same time, some of that can be the chats, whatever the people are messaging. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do WhatsApp screen share, WhatsApp web specifically, WhatsApp web screen share without having to worry about revealing your sensitive information. So let's get right into it. So to do so, you need to download Blur Web App extension, which is a browser extension, which is available for Chrome and all the other browsers. So you can install it for Firefox, Edge, Brave, all the other ones. So once you have installed that, you have to click on the extension. Um, this will ask for a license key, so just make sure to get one. And once you will enter the license key, then you will have this extension. So you can see it's basically uh, creating a border around everything you will uh, you want to blur out. So I can just click on it and again, click on it to unblur. So I can click to blur, I can click to unblur. That's pretty easy, right? So let's see how we can hide these contacts. So one option is, of course, you can go uh, one by one hiding them out, but we want a very easy approach to this. So I just want to hide all the contacts because I don't want to show them, right? So in that case, what I will do is I will use the blur area feature, click on this blur area, and then select from here to this side. Now, the reason why I have left this particular space is so that I can scroll because if you will try to scroll above this, you will not be able to. So I'm going to click on apply and show you what I mean. So you can see I'm able to scroll very easily without having to have any issue, uh, which I will not be able to do if I would have this till this corner. So you can see how easy it was to hide all the contacts while doing a screen share. So let's say I'm just doing a screen share and I wanted to show something, some messages and uh, let me show you some. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show some messages while screen share and, uh, but I don't want to show this. So this is what we can do. The second thing is, let's say uh, we want to hide these messages. So I'm going to open up the blur web app again and I want to hide the image. I'll pick up the blur, web, uh, blur area feature, grab it like that and click on apply and that's all done. You can see the image is hidden and that was way, way easier. You just have to write up the space, whichever you want to hide and it's done. So the next step in this process can be, let's say, let me add more messages. So I'll say hello and this is new message. Okay, so you can see what is happening is if you will add more message, this can go up uh, like for example down so in that case you have an option that you can actually move it around you can hide something else you can like kind of grab this and put it wherever you like so for example i don't want to share my profile picture i can do that uh, i'm just going to keep it at the image so that's that so you can see you can actually create screenshots you can screen share quite comfortably now so if you have any questions do let me know and um and thanks for watching